The purpose of this video is to give you some general painting tips for working with tempera and acrylics. Before you begin painting, it's important to sketch your idea in pencil either on paper or on the canvas you're using. Draw light until you get it right. That means that you should try to keep your pencil lines light so that they don't show through your paint later. The next thing you want to do is to paint your background. When you're working with acrylics or temperas, it's a good idea to use your lighter colors first. If you paint a dark colored background, it's going to take many layers of that lighter color to get them to show up and to be as bright as they look when they're on your paint palette. What you see here when I'm painting the background is that I'm going around the subject of my painting. I'm painting in what's called the negative space or the space around my subject. Don't forget to clean your brush thoroughly each time you're going to change colors or switch paintbrushes. Please do not leave paint on your paintbrush when you're not using them. Next, you're going to paint the first layer of your subject. The subject of your painting is kind of the focal point or the main thing that it's about or you're trying to show. So the subject of my painting is this flower design or motif. The subject of another painting might be a portrait. So in this step, you would paint the first layer of the skin or complexion of your portrait. When you work with tempera paints or acrylics, you want to get used to working in layers. So right now I'm painting the first layer of my subject, and that's allowing other parts of my painting to dry so that I can then go back and add another layer. Again, please don't forget to clean your brush well. Do not leave it sitting out with paint on it. Now your first layer of paint should be dry and you're ready to go in and add details. Make sure you choose a brush size that's going to work for you. Here I've chosen a small brush because I'm adding smaller details. In addition to using the right brush size, I'm also utilizing this as a tool to work for me. Since I want to paint fine lines, I'm not pressing the whole bristle of the brush down on my paper, I'm keeping it kind of lifted up so that just the tip of the brush is gliding across the surface of the paper. And I like to say my younger students, you can think of it like a ballerina who's dancing on their tiptoes. So treat your brush like a ballerina. So after you've started adding more layers and details, keep going. Typically, the more details and the more layers you have, the more of an interesting painting you're going to end up with. So take your time, go back, add textures, add fine lines, and uh, you're going to make a beautiful work of art. All right, I hope this was helpful. Have fun working with temperas and acrylics, and I can't wait to see what you create.